Hi guys, it's Lynn here. I hope everyone is having a safe and wonderful day. Now today, I'm repotting my Euphorbia Mamillarius Varigata Corn Cob. Euphorbia. <laughs> and this Euphorbia here is quite wacky and unusual in the sense that it does sort of resemble like a corn cob, which is where it gets its name from. And we have about three different types of this actual Euphorbia. Well, actually four different types of this Euphorbia mammillaris. We have one, a couple of which is all green. And then we have a couple like this, the variegated, but it's more, more tall and columnar types with all what arms all coming out of it. And this one is more globular, with little sort of globular balls growing out of it. And this particular one was gifted to us by our wonderful friend Nelly from a Collection of Unseen Nature. So thank you, Nelly. It's growing very well. And I think Nelly gifted to us a couple of years ago and it has really, cut, really grown well from a cutting. And we repotted it a couple of times. And I want to repot it today, not because the roots are coming through, because they're not, but I just want to change the soil. Uh, me and Hans have been using a different type of cactus and succulent soil the past, past couple of weeks that we're really happy with. And we, we got the idea of the cactus soil from our wonderful friend Daz from Cacti Mania. So thank you, Daz. And it is uh, four parts of grit, John Innes number two loam, and um, lava rock and pumice all mixed together so it's very very well draining which cacti succulents really like particularly these type of euphorbias that can be rot prone so if you want to know how to make this soil then do check out Dazzy's video uh, links up above and also I want to give a very special thank you to my wonderful fiance Hans who is behind the camera filming me today so I've got my hands free and if you're not familiar with Hans's amazing channel too do check Hans's channel out and subscribe family of cactus and other beauties links up above <laughs> so here we go a little bit about this corn cob as I say it's got its name because it resembles a corn cob and it's often well, it's wrongly called the corn cob cactus when it is not a cactus it is a hundred percent just succulent those of you who know all cacti are succulents but not all succulents are cacti as in this case here it's nicknamed the corn cob cactus because of its resemblance to a cactus but it is a hundred percent euphorbia succulent and it loves it loves a very well draining soil it loves plenty of sunshine if you can give it it as long as you can give it plenty of fresh air and ventilation so if you have this this particular euphorbia in a sunny window or greenhouse make sure you can give it plenty of ventilation and it's one of the ones that can take a little bit the variegated form such as this one can take a bit more shade than the other the all green one so if you've only got a, a window that gets morning sun or afternoon sun it should still be okay as well you'll know if it gets too much sun if it goes a little bit yellowish or a little bit reddish but in this case we have this in our sunny kitchen window which is south face it seems to do very well but obviously it can depend on the temperatures and everything else and um, yep when it comes to watering they like to be kept mostly dry during the winter when they're overwintering overwinter at a minimum of 10 degrees celsius which is around 50 degrees fahrenheit and they, they cannot take any cold frost as they will rot so bear that in mind and also um, it's important to keep it pretty dry during the winter because when they're dormant, they can rot if you give them a bit of water. Only water if it was absolutely shriveling. Um, in this case, I go pretty much all through the winter without watering this, but it could depend on your temperatures and everything and where you're living in the world, many different factors there. In the spring and the summer, they do like to be kept well watered as long as they're in a well draining cactus and succulent mix. And as long as you let the soil dry out totally in between waterings. So you guys, a little bit of caring about this particular Euphorbia corn cob variegata. And now I'm going to go repotting. So I'm going to soften the soil. This will probably be able to go back into the same pot because I don't think it needs a bigger pot. There you go. It can go back into the same pot. No problem there. And look at that. Look at that for lovely big root, guys. Isn't that amazing? And what I like to do when I do repot is to get as much of the old soil off as I can without damaging. As this case, it's pretty much all off. I don't need to touch anything there. Great root system. Soil we used before wasn't bad either. We used, we used sort of sand and John in his, and a bit of grit as well, as you can see. But we're going to pop this into its new, new soil. Use the same pot. Don't need to wash it out because it's the same plant going in. And here we go. And as I say, this, this grit, gritty soil is absolutely fantastic for these type of euphorbias here. Look at that for lovely roots. Gently pressing. 
And what I would recommend doing, it's entirely up to the individual, but personally myself, when I repot cacti and succulents, because they all can be rot prone, I always prefer to do it in the spring or the summer, preferably the spring, because then it's got a chance to prepare itself ready for the growing, well, good growing season ahead. And also, I like to keep the, the soil dry after I've repotted them. I don't water any of them for about a week to 10 days after I repot. Um, personally, this is just because it likes to allow the, the, so the roots to acclimatise into the new soil and pot, and also the chance of any roots that have come away, however careful you are during repotting, to, to heal up and, and uh, yeah, recover, really, before watering again. So that's it, pretty much it. And gently press down, tap to make sure all the soil covers down, as in this case I know it pretty much has. And that's it. Change a little soil with that one back in the same pot. Like a lot of people say, do you really need to repot if, if they're not outgrowing the pots and the roots aren't coming through? Well, I only really sort of like to repot when it's necessary, but sometimes if they've been in the same pot for a couple of years, it's good just to take the soil off check the root system over to check for signs of bugs and things like that always good to do and give a fresh change of soil because they're sort of like a bit of a change of soil it gives them a bit of a pick me up especially if they sort of stop growing because they've been in the same soil for so long so there we go i hope you enjoyed that and a few little care tips on this amazing unusual little euphorbia corn cob mammillaris and uh, thank you hansi for filming <laughs> and if you want to know a little bit more on how to grow cacti suckers then please do check out my website DesertPlantsOfAvalon.com I want to send you loads of love, heaps of happiness, and tons and tons of cactus power from across the Emerald Isle. And until my next video.